Final Simple Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to create a static IP address in comparison to a dynamic which pretty much changes, um, not necessarily every time, but every other time. All right, so first you're going to start off by going to start and you can type in CMD and a command prompt should come up. Some people like to hit run, then type in CMD, enter. Now you're going to type in IP config space forward slash all hit enter scroll back up to the top now you're going to open the notepad and you need to jot down your IP address this is 192.168.2 um, and then you need to jot down your subnet mask or however you say it. And then you need to take down your default gateway. That's 192.168.0.1. So once you've set that up, then scroll down some more. Um, and you'll come across DNS server. Okay, uh, there might be two or there might be more. Generally, it's one or two. And you're going to note these down at 4.168.4.100. And okay, once you have these, you can close your command prompts. Okay, and now you need to go down to your network, right click, open network and share in center. If you don't want to do it that way, you can go start, control panel, uh, network and internet, network and sharing center. Once this is open, let me just make sure. You need to go to change adapter settings. And then you need to choose your um, network device, which is my Ethernet. Okay. Don't, uh, there's no point in doing it wireless because whenever you transfer from one network to another it might cause some problems because they might have someone with the same IP so you won't be able to connect basically um, so Ethernet, right click this go down to properties then you're going to need to scroll down to internet protocol version 4 hit properties and now what you're going to do is hit up use the following IP address. Typing the IP address that you want. It doesn't have to be your current, so I could do 192.168.0.2 or I could do three if I want to, but I want to to be my always. And then something mask will automatically pop up, so jump straight to the default gateway. Oh, there we go. So jump straight to the default gateway. Now you need to type in this number here, which is 192. And then down here, preferred DNS server, type in the top one. And then alternate. Okay, um, hit OK, close that, you might see your internet go down for a minute, and then it should recalibrate back to normal, next it, there we go, so my internet should still be Back up and running. There we go. Okay, so you've successfully configured a static IP address. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.